What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Dankbot003. Back at it with another banger, meta changing deck profile. Now, here for you guys today, I have the most big brain, spicy, meta changing splite variant you guys will ever see. Ever. Never done before. Nobody has thought of this idea. Now, recently on Zodiac, there was a lot of people going around making posts uh, saying, oh, this equal, plus this equals full splite combo. That plus this over here equals full splite combo. And I decided to get a little big brain and I made this picture as a meme and posted it up on there. And it ended up getting a lot of attention, more attention than I wanted to. Uh, obviously, it's a lot of laugh reacts and stuff as it's meant to be a meme. But there was also a lot of people asking me for deck list combos uh people messaging me asking if i actually had a deck list for this friends telling me yeah you should do a deck video for it so you know me i love death spots that's the deck i'm known for uh, maybe not recently but back then i was really known for this deck it's the deck that really um got me good at the game um, because I had to learn to play around Pendulums and Monarchs and Cosmos with the deck. So, uh, without further ado, guys, let's uh, let's hop into the deck profile. So, I am running one Ancient Gearbox, double Ash, one Crow, three 002, three 003, one 005, one 006, Valor, a Gizmek level 3 frog guy. Uh, I'm not even going to try to say his name. Uh, Jet Synchron. One Nib. One Quick Draw. One Ronin. Two Blues. Two Jets. One Red. Three Swap. A three Symphonic Warrior Guitar. Two Symphonic Warrior Mike. Double Regulus. One Called By. Double Cross Out. Triple Prosperity. Triple starter, triple tuning, and one imperm. Um, obviously, hand trap ratios are for the cross out. Don't really want to draw multiples of Ash, but Ash is really good. That's why I'm only running two of her over running one like the other hand traps. Ancient Gearbox um, with the Ballista. Well, actually, let me go through the extra deck. Um, I have the Infinity Package, Zeus Package that goes along with the sky calvary um then i'm running the splite cards double elf double gigantic the honorary splite totally awesome what makes the deck work we have a access code talker to push for game ballista to search our stuff one appalooza because sometimes if you open splite starter or a splite blue you can make an appalooza um instead of committing your bodies into the gigantic um then i'm running one health because why not uh, I'm running the Platinum Gadget, and I'm running a Splite Elf, or Double Splite Elf. Um, Platinum Gadget is what really makes the deck work. As you can see here, normal summon 003, add 002, add another 2, make Platinum, summon the 002, add a follow-up, and then you overlay for Gigantic Sprite. So, I am running only 2, or 3 002s. Three threes, one five and one six. Obviously, these right here are the main combo. Um, so you kind of always want to be able to get your double o three in hand, or find a way to summon out your double o two, which there are other ways to do so. I'm running the one double o five along with the o six because the o six is a scale one, which if you pair that up with the guitar, um, that means you can pendulum summon your double o five. Which, if you have guitar, that means you have Mike on field, which two level five machine monsters. What does that make? Nova into Infinity. So that's a negate before you start your very important combos. Um, also, I am running the Symphonic Engine, which is kind of like the spiciest thing in here for the um, effect. So after this card is normal or special summon, a non activating effect, you can normal summon one monster. During your main phase, in addition to your normal summoner set for the turn, 
this card gains this effect only once per turn but it doesn't need to be on field for you to resolve once it summons automatically for the turn you gain an additional no no summon so that does come in handy a lot in hands where you have a 003 and you have a swap frog um then i'm just running the small splite engine because that's all you really need um because you have three starters to bring out your blue search jet search starter summon red in your opponent's turn that's uh basically why you run the splites along with making gigantic and making double toad um then i am running the ancient gearbox along with the gizmec um because you can search the gizmec with your ancient gearbox or no no my bad you can add any despot with your ancient gearbox i believe correct with this card uh, you can have one rpg with one yeah, so this adds any despot. Um, I recently found this engine and other despot deck profiles um, and something in the OCG. So this is basically something you can discard and banish it, summon back your 002, and then your ancient gear box just gets you into anything. Um, so cross out, no need to explain, neither with prosperity. And then the quick draw is just there, so you can go to infinity as well. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of uh, the reasoning behind the deck. Just uh, there is a lot of one ofs, but you only really need one of them, and it's not really so bad to draw them. Which I have a, a replay showing you a very non optimal hand and what you can do with that hand. Um, so, yeah, let's get right into a replay. This is one of the best hands you can draw in the deck. Obviously, you have 003, and you have Splite Blue, which that is full combo right there. So you're going to want to go ahead and fire off your Prosperity. Luckily, we got into our guitar, so now we're even going to be able to normal summon our Swap Frog again. So you go 3, summon 2, add 5, box, add, add. Then you're going to activate, discard, summon out your Might, special your 2, add 003, Use your additional normal in this case since everything um since you were able to add this i'm just going to go ahead and summon this because that's going to give me the extra bodies which i'm going to be able to summon out my blue with because i'll just keep one 002 on board and then i will use the swap frog as a um, discard for the other swap frog that i'm going to bring out of the deck that way i have more plays so i'm going to make it through material app go into nova then I'm just going to go ahead, splite combo here, you know the deal, gigantic, bring out swap, swap, dump, Ronin, make your elf, you're going to bounce, discard, summon out your Ronin, overlay, now here we end with double toad, we have a three material Appaloosa, and we have infinity, as well as starter, and cross out designator, because maybe you'll play a splite, mirror match and you're able to use your splite cards first and then when they try to use one of theirs you just cross out designator that card um and basically negate so that's it for the first replay next replay we're gonna play is a replay where you open with 003 and starter and the tuning so this right here is going to be infinity with apple with your double toad again um, but this time you won't really need to dig in your deck and do all those extra steps So let's get right into it. You're gonna tune in for synchro Pitch we got kind of lucky there We were able to pitch the Ronin. So this is a replay of an earlier build which it's not really gonna come up This can be any machine monster or any monster at all in hand um, You're just gonna use it to discard it and I'm never going to summon two machines at the same time to bring that out. But this uh, replay still kind of works. Um, only thing is that I cut the 001 just so I can deck thin. So we're going to go into our Ballista. We're going to search here. We're going to activate the Guitar. Discard. Effect. Summon the 002. 002. Add 3. Use our additional Normal Summon. That is going to get our 6. And now we are able to make our three material apo go into infinity and you know the deal from there blue jet add starter gigantic bring out swap pitch ronin make 
make L first, and now you're gonna pitch again. Now you summon Ronin back, and you make your totally awesome. So your starter is gonna be able to bring out your red. You have another body to summon out next turn. Uh, this should have been on the zone under this. I don't know why it's right there. So just kind of ignore that blooper. But this should be under the Appaloosa. Um, but still, you, you get the idea. Double Toad, Form Material App with Infinity. And Starter, Bring Out Red. That is a pretty crazy board if you ask me. Now, this hand is a unoptimal hand. Um, which I'm going to show you what you can do with this and how you can achieve big brain full splite combo with 006 DD Crow tuning jet synchron and called by the grave in hand. So we're going to tuning, add quick draw, mill, summon out, discarding the jet, boom, make your ballista. That's going to grab your 003. And if you guys did not notice, we did not normal summon in that interaction right there. So that's going to let us normal summon 003, normal or special summon 002. And if you guys don't remember here, what is that equal? Gigantic splite, double toad. So let's see. We're going to link those off. Platinum, go ahead and search. Overlay, special, special swap, dump, you know, now we make elf, and we go into our toad, and we're able to end with a call by the grave, double toad, and a 3200 gigantic sprite, and we have our follow-up as well, so seems pretty good to me for being able to combo with just the tuning and the oh, excuse me tuning and the jet synchron in hand um along with other so-called bricks um so yeah that's it for the replays guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this and you guys can kind of find a way to optimize this build um it's kind of like a little skeleton um but I might, I might take it a little bit serious just because I really like Deathbot and find if there's actually a way I can make this playable. Who knows? Maybe I will top a regional this season with this. Um, after I get my invite, I kind of want to try Funny Decks because I don't really need to, you know, sweat for an invite. I'll be able to play whatever I feel like playing um, just so I can feel more um, happy with topping with something you know, crazy and not optimal. Um, so, who knows? Maybe I'll take this deck a little bit serious and I'll try to do something. If you guys see anything I could change or anything at all that you want to point out in the video, um, any cards I could add to make it easier to combo, anything I should take out that you guys felt like was unnecessary um, or any other lines in... Oh, excuse me. Any other lines that I didn't see while uh, I was going over the replays that I could have maybe son done something differently um, that would have achieved a better board? Let me know, guys. Um, and yeah, without further ado, Dankbot003 signing out.